Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Manos and this is game number three of a best of three. And oh my goodness, TLO, he's making a drone. What is he doing? Okay, this is a massive deviation to TLO's play previously. And of course, he is spawning up in the top right as the red suck. <laughs> Down in the bottom left, we've got the blue Terran player. It is Daishi. So, this is, this is now a funky game. Um, this entire series is ridiculously crazy because game one, right, as you all know, because you should have watched it, 11-11 proxy two racks against the six ball. Game two on whirlwind, TLO is like six ball again. TLO this game though, seems to have actually made an overlord. This is new uncharted territory for him in this series. Daishi could proxy 11-11 two racks still. That is a possibility. Um, but two games out of three, TLO has six pulled. So is Daishi going to try and just get the wall off down and be safe? I genuinely, like this game, I've been casting now for six hours. Um, casting a whole ton of stuff because basically I've got a whole ton of live events coming up. So I'm getting to the point where my brain has got a little bit fried and I'm so glad this is the last series of the night I'm going to cast because, because just what, what am I watching? Okay, so it's like watching Fuser play. Um, where every game is a proxy two rack. So there's a quick pause there. And after the previous games, whatever, however long that pause was, it was probably a good percentage of increase in game length in total. Daisy already has admitted that he's shaking a bit, like because he's probably expecting six ball. But TLO blowing everything out of the water is getting down a hatchery at 15. So TLO has gone from six pooling twice. Um, and now he's just sitting there, just being like, okay. I'll go for a 15 hatch. TLO apparently also taking a look at the Twitch chat, which is quite amusing. I can imagine Twitch chat right now, after this series, is just going ape mad. Because it would just be like, what? What is this madness? I don't even know what this madness is. A Reaper opening is coming down from Daishi, though. That is, dare I say it, semi-normal. I just don't know what normal is anymore, guys. Like, seriously, this game, this series, my head, mind blown. It's been entertaining, though. I hope you've enjoyed this journey. Like... This game is already longer than game number two. That's just how it rolls. The Reaper is on its way out. The spawning pool is nearly done. And these two generally... If this game goes into like a 40, 50 minute macro game now, I may just lose all ability to articulate myself um, and just start out laughing because this series, legitimately, this is random. Um, someone should post this to Reddit. I know Reddit will probably hate it and flame about it, but it should still be there because just what? What am I watching? Anyway... We do see Daisy now taking the command center, probably thinking, oh, I haven't died yet, or I haven't tried to be killed. Four Zerglings are on their way out. Reaper is going to make it up. Of course, Reaper's very good on Neo Planet S because there's a huge amount of cliff area you can utilize, and that's all good. But, of course, the Zerglings are going to try and chase down the Reaper. Reaper will win this fight and micro like a beast. Factory coming down. Reactor coming down. Reaper still microing like a beast. Daisy is going about everything that he should be. TLO. I'm currently sitting down here being like, oh, I'll take a gas now. That seems like a good time to do it. He's still... Of course, it's doing everything relatively normal. Normal timing of this gas. This uh, The Overlord can see the command center is coming down, so he knows he needs a third at around the 6-7 minute mark. This Reaper is trying to get around it. Oh, a lot of lost mining time here from TLO. And a drone goes down. Good micro on this Reaper from Daishi. Two Zergans coming in, though. Coming in, getting a little bit of this counter-aggression. What is there to defend? The answer... Oh, my Daishi, you've got nothing to defend against two Zerglings, which have just killed the SCV building your command center. Now a mass full of SCVs coming down. Okay, this is now where SCV micro comes in. Where's the Reaper? The Reaper is dead. Oh, my goodness. TLO killed it. I missed it. But the Zergling is going to kill this SCV again. And again, this command center... Oh, it just finishes. That was by the second. So close. Ridiculously close. Reactor. A starport coming down. Tech Lab coming down there too. So Banshee opening is going to be on the cards for Daishi. Following on from this one Rax command center. These SCVs are not faring too well against the Zerglings. The Zergling does die. Ah, oh, but can this break get the kill? Yes, he can. Currently three workers killed to two in TLO's favor. The Hellions have got something to say about those Zerglings. And now TLO knows that, of course, Hellions are on the field. So he starts up his Roach Warren. He can go for the double evolution chamber wall off here. Good map to do that on. Probably the best map in the map pool at the moment to get that double evolution chamber wall off. And yeah, these Hellions probably aren't going to be able to get in. Two queens there. They could just run by. Um, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to come in here and be like, yo, hey queens, what up? A couple more drones are going to die here. This is, of course, very strenuous, very, 
very concerning. More drones getting taken out. Tielo loses. He manages to kill one of those headings, but is about to lose two more drones. They three go down there. Oh my goodness. Six workers have been killed here by Daishi. 25 to 22 workers in Daishi's favor at the moment. Banshee getting queued up. No um, cloaking field. Of course, cloak is not 100 100 in this patch. It was done prior to the patch change to Hellbats as well. But rotors are now on their way out. The queen count sitting at three. Roach counter aggression is going to be coming in. This is. Okay, a 10 roaches. This is just a roachling all in, pretty much now. Um, there's some more roaches, some more zerglings. Daisy not prepared for this at all. Yes, he's got a banshee out, but you know what this banshee is going to be able to do against this many units? Not a lot. Like, really not a lot at all. The roaches pushing in the hellions are the only thing defending TLO. I think he's going to be able to take this series because I just don't see any way that Daisy's going to be able to defend this. Doesn't even have any Marines out. Just these four Hellions. I don't know what the bunkers for because there's nothing to go in the bunker. And Marauder just popping now. The Hellions trying to block this off. But suddenly in comes the units. The Banshee actually doing quite a nice bit of work here. The Hellbat. The, sorry, the Hellbat. The Marauder has to stay up. The, oh, Supply Depot dancing. The Roaches are getting taken out. TLO is dealing some good damage. But he GG's. He knows it's going to be able to hold. This is such good news right here for Daishi. He takes the series 2-0, defending that with the Banshee. And that has got to be one of the weirdest best of threes I maybe have ever cast, ever. Like, what did I watch? Seriously, what did you guys just watch? Seriously, if I don't... I should get some amazing comments from this. Um, I predict now um, that half these comments are going to be like... You suck, why did you even bother uploading this? But I uploaded this because these two were clearly having such a laugh and it thoroughly amused me. So I hope it amused you too. If it did, like the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought of these games. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for yet another new game. Bye for now.